Here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. Hey, John is in Reno, Nevada, on line two. Hey, John, what you got there? Well, I inherited my dad's um, 1894 Winchester level rifle, le- lever, lever rifle. Okay. okay. And uh, I haven't shot it, but I started playing around with it um, during COVID, and then we've kind of avoided going to a range, but we're going to be going soon. Now, with that mm-hmm. rifle came a couple of boxes of shells. I'm guessing, I think back, my dad shot a deer when I was in third grade up in the mountains. Mm-hmm. I remember that. And it was this rifle, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So that's, I'm 76, so that's been a lot of years. So this ammunition could be pretty old. It's um, Remington Clean Bore Express, 117 grain. And the other box um, is a 2535, by the way. It's, oh, okay. It's, that's it's a 25, Winchester cool. Super X Lubbeloy bullets. Yep. Okay. Here's my, you're asking me about the ammo, right? Yeah. I have a box of new ammo, too, of course, but, you know, okay. I'm just kind of curious about this stuff, if I can shoot it or if it's safe. There's a yes, but on this deal. Yes, it's probably safe, but I wouldn't shoot it because that that box is so cool. That old Remington box of ammo with Lubaloy, you know, bullets and the whole deal. I would save that and the cartridges and maybe even find a way to display it somewhere. That's just too cool for words. I would not go shoot that stuff, especially since you can get new ammo where you don't have to worry about it. Expensive, of course, but yeah. Well, All right. Yeah, I, I mean, appreciate I, your I, advice I, on that, yeah. and I'll take it. Ammo is expensive these days, but there again, you're not doing like a lot of us where we go out and say, you know, I need another 5,000 rounds which is not unusual. <laughs> no. I mean, it really literally is not unusual for a lot of folks I know. Uh, I was talking to a buddy of mine. A buddy of mine he, says, uh, he says, well, I'm not sure. He says, uh, I'm down to about 12,000 rounds of 223, but I think I can get through the COVID uh, crisis on that. So just to kind of give you an idea. So if you're going to go out and buy two boxes, yes, it's expensive, but we're not really feeling your pain here, okay? <laughs> no, I understand. And I, I, I think probably safe to be safe, just not try this stuff out. I, I think so. And besides that, like I say, it's cool. The other part of it is, should you ever want to, there are cartridge collectors out there, and they would love to get the cartridges, but the box is probably at least as important as the cartridges. So hold on to the box. Don't let it get all scuffed up and everything. Uh, I would display it. But make sure that if you decide to sell it, you understand that you know there could be some some value to that box of ammo to a cartridge collector. Okay. Oh, very interesting. And uh, since I don't tend to display it, I might just look into that. Thank you. Sure. And you might just, uh, if that's the case, you might just go to a gun uh, a gun show and walk around with your box of ammo and find, you'll find a booth out there of a cartridge collector or somebody has got a lot of different ammo and just see what you can get for it. it might, might as well. Why, why not? I wish you luck with it. That's very cool. So there you go. So uh, appreciate that. Yeah. And, you know, at a certain point, if ammo gets to be 50, 60, 70 years old, you kind of think, well, do I really need to shoot this? I don't think I do. You could, What could happen? Well, you could get a hang fire. You could get a misfire. Unlikely, maybe. I don't know, but it's possible. So why take the chance? At least that's my take on it.